All right, so here's the next video from yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it, I addressed... All right, anyways, only the subscribers would really know. Um, I'm going to be talking about things that you should do before you go to basic. So if you're in the Army National Guard, uh, you have access to a CAC card if you go onto a base. You just go there, you basically send an appointment. It's probably the easiest thing to do uh, online. And just say you need a new CAC card, get to the Army... Uh, uh, like the guard to say hey, I just need a new cat card show them your ID They'll usually let you in, tell you where to go you go get your cat card um, That's number one thing I would do uh, So that you can get on base and stuff and then I would go to the PX and I would buy compression underwear Now the reason for that is because one you're gonna chafe a lot especially if you're a little bit bigger of a guy You're gonna be chafing a lot like majority of the time at basic I was not wearing underwear because the underwear they had, it would be soaked and it would stay soaked and it would cause rashing really bad while the breeze would dry it up. So I would recommend compression underwear for sure. It's going to make a huge impact when you're rucking, um, doing missions, just all that stuff. So wear compression underwear. Um, and I would make sure because like... A lot of times if you go to like you're going to your actual barracks after uh recess or what is it called anyways it's like where you get all your gear and stuff and shots and all that and when you go to your actual like buildings like your area um they're gonna have you go through your civilian clothes and basically throw those all out so i literally had like 25 dollars under armor underwear that got thrown out because i wasn't wearing them so wear your compression underwear just in case they tell you to throw those out because they won't let you have that um so wear them there all right uh, another thing is um your running shoes so they said oh you should probably just throw away your running shoes because they make you buy new running shoes but they're crappy running shoes and these under armor shoes that i had were like the best shoes i have ever had for running uh i don't even know why they don't make them they were so comfortable but basically they had me throw those away because they said, oh, you're not going to need them. Well, the people who kept their normal running shoes, the drill sergeants were like, well, why do I care what you wear for running shoes? So I had my mom send me new running shoes in the mail that took months to get. So, um, and they weren't even really that much better. Uh, so, yes, I would recommend keeping your running shoes, even after they make you buy new running shoes. Um because they're going to be a lot better than what they give you because they're like some cheap brand a6 or something like horrible brand like just normal shoes um so keep that another thing is invest into a garment instinct if you haven't seen my review on that um invest into it now the tricky part is is keeping the charger um make sure you have the charger hide it in something where they're not going to like look whether it's like in your bottom pant pockets or something um and keep it and if they do take it just have your mom send you like a new one in the mail or something and have her like get like cough drops sugar-free cough drops or something send it into the mail but have her put it in there somehow and make it look like it wasn't open uh, in the mail but take that um this is stuff that i wish i did uh by the way uh but take that and put it in there and really the only time when you're doing fire guard at night which maybe would be like every other night or so um just charge your watch then during that shift it'll be fully charged but even for like land nav now i would recommend just paying the extra 50 bucks for the military edition i just have the regular edition because you can use your night vision goggles uh and see your watch and it has a couple extra features on there um but you can do land nav with your watch. So nighttime's like the worst. So you can literally do your nighttime land nav. And if you're not using the GPS is like eight hours and then the power saving mode GPS is like 40 hour, 48 hours or something, 40 hours. And if you're not using that, um, it lasts like 10 to 14 days. So you're gonna keep track of like your still your calories burn your steps and you can still do like land navigation with it um you can set alarms on it which is super nice whether it's vibrant or um you know whatever uh the sound one and you can even pay a subscription subscription where you can have your phone send you text messages through it 
So like let's say uh, you left your, or you got like a burner phone or something at home, uh, if it sends it through the satellite, it'll send it to uh, your watch and you can send text messages that way. So that's some things that you can do, some hints and tricks. And honestly, I use it way more. I used to have an Apple watch, love that, um, but you know, obviously it dies. Had a Galaxy watch, hated that, but I actually like this a lot um, just because of all the fitness features that it has, the navigation and all that. You can use that during your missions. Um, so, and it compasses and stuff. It's just gonna be a lot easier for you guys uh, in the long run. It's gonna be a lot easier. So I would recommend that. It's also 100 meters waterproof. It's rugged, it's, it's, mil it's military grade. So recommend that. Um, other things is if you get an opportunity buy powder, uh, put that around and Vaseline. Vaseline is a huge thing. Um, if they let you uh, get the, um, what is it called? It's like Tiger Balm or something. Uh, that will help with a lot of soreness that you'll have. And another thing you do is when you're on kitchen duty, like serving food, um, sometimes you get there, you got to put your stuff away. Uh, the cooks usually aren't looking. Sneak some of the cookies into your Camelback that they have there. And you can actually sell that or eat it. I never really sold anything, but people would sell those things for like 20 bucks. And obviously they would eat it, you know? And they wouldn't let you have the cookies because normal military people on base go there to eat so they keep it for them so take that sneak it and like sell it like that stuff will give you money fast um other things ryan rain books are super nice but uh if you're married get a groove ring not a metal ring um so you can keep that uh, another thing is just gotta think because i wasn't married then so Oh, letters. Make sure you're writing letters. Uh, keep you sane, thinking. Um, know all of your uh, soldier's creed. Uh, if you're going in infantry like I did, your infantry creed. Um, the army song. Like, know all of that before you go. It's going to make it a lot easier. Um, and the army value. Like, basically everything. Try to learn as much as you can on your own. Uh, it's going to make your journey a lot faster, easier. Um, if you haven't went shooting, go to a gun range and shoot. Um, and, I mean, you'll you'll learn majority of everything there, but these are things you should do. Uh, keep up with your PT, your fitness, before you go down there. Um, and that should be about it uh, for now. So... Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get through the military uh, basic training. And uh, I hope that you guys get the most out of what you can out of it. Enjoy your life uh, before you go. Definitely have fun. And uh, don't do anything stupid. And don't be an idiot like me who had my squad wash their clothes or at least if they do, don't tell them to put a laundry bag on the dryer where a drill sergeant can see it from a door while you're getting smoked out already. I got a lot of stories I could talk about. If you guys want to see that, uh, if we get 100, 100 likes on this video, I'll make another video of all my funny stories about basic training um, and give you guys the deets on that as well. Oh, also, for the end of the cycle, uh, OxyClean detergent is great for cleaning your gear takes out all that crap because they're going to make you scrub your gear clean all right guys thanks for watching and i hope this helps you through your army career and uh, national guard career and uh i hope you guys stay safe and enjoy your life as much as you can and take every moment don't take every moment for granted all right guys peace out